All right, I bought a Yamaha DX21, and it is absolutely effed. Um, I paid very little money for it. But today, we're really going to focus on what do we need to do to change a soldered-in battery. This will be the easiest thing you can do with a soldering iron and a synthesizer. So you can see I'm opening up this keyboard and exposing the battery. All right, now I've got the battery exposed and I am going to assemble my tools. I've got a screwdriver, I've got a soldering iron, I've got a solder pump, but I don't really need it. I've got solder, I've got a battery case. I bought many of these off of Amazon for like seven bucks. I've got the battery and a very cheap wire stripper. Um, here now we can see the battery in its place. Um, you can see there's a positive and negative shown so that's very useful i'm going to wire up the red wire to the positive and the black wire to the negative um, and i'm using an alligator clip to um, make sure i can like, connect these things and have a free hand Ooh, there's the old battery yuck after i cut it out um, now i've got some solder and i am going to go to work so here i've got my soldering iron it does it hot at about 375 degrees celsius melting point for this solder in in purpose i'm going to make sure i get that solder right on there um, i'm not the best at this but this is also a very easy job so you can see i'm doing that first with the positive i'm going to now switch over and get to the negative i'm going to make sure that we got that you know wired in get a nice good bead on that um that case here we go Now that I've got both the positive and the negative um, leads wired in, I can then now work to um, put in the battery, make sure it's in the right way. And, um, you know, I would probably like crazy glue this down to the board. There isn't a lot of room on the board for me to put this in. But, you know, future users of the board will thank you because it's way easier now. Um, this silly one has an on and off switch, so I'm gonna make sure that I keep it in the on position. And now I'm just gonna reassemble the keyboard. Um, ultimately, this keyboard needs a lot more work than just this battery, but I did wanna show you how easy it is to um, make sure that, you know, maintaining your keyboard is uh, simplified by way of adding a non-hardwired battery. If you found this video helpful or mildly entertaining, do like and subscribe. Um, we are going to be playing with this keyboard a lot more. It's got a lot of work to do, and ultimately, I want to share that with you. So thanks for watching.